What is at the movies? All right, Michael Cook last night saw two films. One I, I've kind of heard a little about. <laughs> Just uh, a, a small little independent yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Avengers Str Endgame. Make it. <laughs> now, how, ma how many hours of sleep did you get last uh, night? I got about three or four hours. Not only because okay. I stayed up, you know, I went at 9.45 and didn't get out to 1 a.m. That's because this oh movie, The gosh. Avengers Endgame, is three hours long. Ooh. Three hours and one and minute. One, one, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's start talking about it. So this All is right. the latest, and there's been 20 two movies based on the Marvel comic books. This is the latest one. If you saw the previous film Avengers Infinity Wars, you know that the villain Thanos snapped his fingers because he had the six magic infinity stones and literally disappeared or, or, or killed half the universe. So the first 30-45 minutes of this new, new movie sort of deals with the aftermath of that you know, event where half of Earth is gone, which which means that a lot of the Avengers have also disappeared. Mm. And so, you know, look, this movie has a lot of plot points, and so when you talk about it, you don't want to give away too much. But one thing that's going to be kind of obvious is that when you have the Avengers and you have people with superpowers, they're going to try to find a way to bring these people back. I mean, that's you know, you don't have to see them to read anything about it. That's just that's just going to happen. So. Uh, what I enjoyed about this movie is, is the beginning. Some people might think it's a slow burn, but I enjoyed how they really focused on creating that emotional depth of the characters. Because there's a lot of characters mm -hmm. in these movies. Mm -hmm. uh, and they did a fantastic job, I think, of giving them all a very emotional story arc uh, and a lot of fantastic uh, acting. Robert Downey Jr., who plays Iron Man, I think is uh, just about Oscar-worthy mm -hmm. in, wow. in this film. Uh, of course, the special effects, the CGI, uh, are absolutely perfect and flawless that you actually believe you know these superheroes from <laughs> Thor to you know the Hulk are are you know real uh, in, in, in real life Paul Rudd you know adds uh, as always a great comedic timing along with Mark Ruffalo who plays the Hulk again there's not a lot to talk about in terms of the plot point because it, it's a math with three hours there's so much to cover <laughs> oh I bet uh, yeah but I can just say I just thoroughly enjoyed oh. this movie it's probably gonna be one of the biggest hits of the year mm -hmm. uh, I, I liked you know the classic you know special effects but also the, the good storytelling, the good character development, the emotional things that at times you even tear up. So all in all, I give this movie a nine and a half out of ten. Wow, oh, nine so and a half, almost Fair a ten, a almost a ten. Oh, wow. it, it would have been a ten, but at three hours, I just can't. <laughs> Sorry, you're not going to get it. I can't get, <laughs> I give you a ten at three hours, yeah. but nine and a half. That, that's a pretty good <laughs> score in my book. Yeah. So right. the next movie to talk about is a very small film, uh, independent film called Teen Spirit. It, there you see it stars Elle Fanning. She plays a, a young woman living in a, a small town in England. Uh, she has dreams of becoming a pop star. And so she uh, signs up for uh, the English version of American Idol, where you, <laughs> know, you, you compete and you, you start off in your small town and you move up to regionals. <clears throat> she, you know, Elle Fanning actually sings in this movie, and she's a fantastic fantastic singer. Uh, this is a classic story of, a, of the underdog trying to make it, you know, trying to become a star, uh, and some of the tropes uh, become a little bit too familiar at times, uh, and unfortunately her character is not, <clears throat> she's not particularly deep or enjoyable in terms of really getting to know her. That could be just because her character is, I think, 17 years old, and at 17 you're not really a fully developed person just yet you're still trying to figure out but I enjoyed you know she she uh, she meets a mentor who, who brings her along and teaches her how to sing and and she starts learning how to become a pop star so this is a you know a, a light film if you're not in the mood for a big Avengers <laughs> uh, type of film uh, you know you've seen this uh, type of American Idol stories before all in all I give it a 7 out of 10 okay not too bad. so but I, I predict everybody's probably going to be at the Avengers oh, yeah. uh, film this weekend. So. Is there a moment in Teen Spirit where you know you can go to the bathroom if you need to? <laughs> Like, there, there's probably not that, you know, big no spoiler kind of what thing. What about if you haven't seen the other Avengers? Do you recommend going I, I, to see I, it or I, no? I think you can still you can watch this movie okay. and enjoy it. I mean, you, you won't know all the backstories and some of the inside jokes, mm. but in terms of a story, if you know the basic concept, then I think you will enjoy okay. the film and, and get a lot out of it. Okay, okay. cool. So. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.